Majority of Haitians believe churches are making Haiti worse. And sometimes I have to pause and ask myself, am I part of that majority? Then I get scared that God would punish me if I joined the majority. So I ask for wisdom. Now, it didn't come in as a revelation, but I realized many churches, while well-intentioned, are having a negative effect in Haiti and therefore giving Jesus a bad name. So I'm doing this video to help you make Jesus proud. I realize a lot of churches have missions in Haiti. Now, I appreciate the fact that many of you are willing to help Haiti, and I think we need all the help we can get, but I also realize you haven't been able to win souls nor help the poor in Haiti. As a matter of fact, Haiti has been getting worse as you continue to implant more and more churches. Now, I know fixing Haiti is not your responsibility, and I know saving souls is the most important thing to you, but why not save some lives while winning souls for Jesus? After all, Jesus came to give life and give it more abundantly. See, I know my Bible, <laughs> just a little bit. Now that I've demonstrated I attended Sunday school, let's get to it. At number one, preach the same gospel you preach in America. Not that it's perfect, but it would be better. I realize there are modifications mixed in with misinterpretation of the gospel that have caused even more problems in Haiti. You have helped Haitians build simply a transactional relationship with God, a relationship where God is only a giver. He'll give you food, money, and if you're really good, a visa for you to leave Haiti. You neglect to teach them to be the hands and feet of Jesus. You've taught them to simply wait on Jesus. You forgot to tell them that the power is within them and you are not the savior. You managed to teach them to love you, but hate those who look like them. There's so much more I could say, but I think you get the point. By the way, I'm not sure if these things are purposely done, but I hope and pray that you are not animated by such a spirit. Number two, help translate the gospel in our mother's tongue. I know a lot of you will start to pat yourselves in the back when I say that. You're thinking that the Bible translation you did is what I'm talking about. I have to admit, it is a start, but let's translate other things in Creole. Other materials like financial education, family education, and other materials that could help them lead better lives right where they are. And here's a kicker. A lot of you build and sponsor schools that are teaching our kids in French, while you made an effort to translate the Bible in Creole. Can you feel the confusion? So partner with other groups to translate educational materials in Creole for your schools. And no, I'm not referring to partnering with the guy who pretends to be a pastor or who pretends to love Jesus because of what he can get from you. And I know saying partner with other groups may not be the church thing to do because churches only help other churches. And if it's not about Jesus, you're not in it. But remember, Jesus didn't just hang out with the Christians. I mean, the Jews. <laughs> you should challenge the Haitian politicians, engage the elite. It's not just the poor who need the gospel. Let them know that they too are their brother's keeper. Number three, get to know the people you want to save. How can you serve a people you don't know? You don't know their culture, their history, or their issues. Now, reading a report from one of those international groups is not enough. These reports are mainly about what we don't have, not about who we are our legendary history, and what truly symbolize us as a people. So get to know Haiti, its history, and its people. I know that sounds like it will take a long time, but aren't you really trying to help? So please, take the time. Okay, I know I only said three ways, but I have a bonus for you. 
It's like these infomercials. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> Last thing, be like Jesus. I mean, really, be like him. There's so much I could say about that, but I feel like this statement is powerful enough. They say miseducation is dangerous, and I agree. And I also believe that a mis-evangelized individual is even more dangerous. And that is what you have helped turn a lot of Haitians into. Listen, this video is a cry out to those who say they love their neighbors to frankly take a second look at how they're loving their Haitian neighbors. So, is your love giving life or destroying it? Amen? My name is Molly. I'm a Haiti Hope Ambassador.